Hello YouTube, this is Miss Chris Deacon. So I'm wearing this for right now. I need to take a shower. Probably gonna do that. I wanna first do reactions. So, uh, been sick a few days. Been sick about two days. Uh, this is about Monday, Monday afternoon, somewhere around here. Um, but let's do One Punch Man first because um, this has been out for probably at least three days. I am sorry, but we can be a little louder. We do this, okay. Uh, but 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 what was chapter title? What was the chapter number? Actually, it should be over here on the side because I think I saved it when it came out. I think I saved the link it, there. 157. Chapter 157 came out. It is 41 pages long. Let's just jump into it real quick. Let's pull up this because this is how I grab the times. More than likely when I do the One Piece episode. The um, One Piece manga chapter. Next, I will change outfits. I change hats. Probably do the Castlevania one. Um, this needs to be washed. I think the Castlevania one was just washed. Maybe we'll grab a different one after that, too. Otherwise, let's jump into chapter 157. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really excited because it's One Punch Man. Also, I've been watching back through uh, One Punch Man. I've been watching through the season. I'm partially through season one. Um, I'm probably going to watch through all the episodes again because I really want season three. And I know fans have been rallying around season three and get maybe the people who did Mob Psycho to do season three. Um, when we... Eventually, when we get farther into Cowboy Bebop and pick up other stuff, I will be picking up Mob Psycho and going through that. Um, because I have the in the first intro song added um, to my like video playlist, also added um, to my iPod. I love the song. Um, so I've seen the opening. I have seen some clips from it, but that's pretty much it. Uh, otherwise, sorry, I have stopped dilly dallying. Chapter 157, we have Guro, the Hero Hunter, and Metal Bat on the cover. Do we have a name for this? It doesn't have a name. Let me check my other source, just because that might have a name. Also, I might change out hats quicker than before. Yeah, I'm going to do that, because... Oh. I think because this one hasn't been washed in a while. It doesn't feel great. One fifty seven. Okay, it's it doesn't have a title. As far as I know, I, I'll look into it just to make sure. Yeah, this was just washed, so. Also, this is a lot bigger. Um, okay, 157. Let's see if this one loads faster. Because this is, I don't have to click on anything. I just can go page by page downwards. Yeah, I'll do this. Okay. So we're starting off, and it looks like this is the EVAC team. Uh, the Class A and Class B heroes that came to help get the children out of here. They were the rescue operation. They also have Neon Cat put away. But it's the helicopter taken off. But in the background, you can see... Um, what was that? Uh, the, the, the centipede. It's not Elder Centipede. It It's like... What was that... What was his title? Sage Centipede? Because you have Evil Natural Ocean and I think it's Sage I'm unloading the last chapter. So give me a second. Sage, Sage Centipede. So we have that and then Evil Natural Ocean behind him. You have a... You have the Chain Hero. Then you have the Gymnastic Hero. The hero behind her, I can't tell. 
Then you have... All these heroes I don't know names of. I don't think I've ever wrote down names. I really should. I should have just a chart of um, hero names. Because One Punch Man is the one that I really don't remember hero names for. Or anything below S class. And even S class I still have problems with certain names. Um, why, do, why do these two have to appear just when it seems like the mission was over? Maybe it was too soon to call the helicopter. Hurry up! Get the hell out of here! And it's back over girl. Ha! Ha ha ha! My, my fist would instill fear into God himself! A mere servant of his, like, you don't, you, you don't stand a chance against me! Ugh! He's, he's strong! Oh, and then Goro notices the helicopter from far away. Really far away. And notices the kid that was with him. That brat. He managed to escape. Then Ellis, uh, Sage Centipede breaks his shell around his face. And is now pulsing. He, he, you can see a lot of veins pulsing on him. He regenerated? Nigh on instantaneously. I need to track that thing's attention. Hey, idiot! Come and get me! Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. You seem quite worried about that fly over there. And he's using his, like, mustache to point, like, over there. What are you talking about? If you move even an inch, my sister will shoot it out of the sky with her great ocean cannon. I don't think she will because oh, I I know you're using this. The girl doesn't know this, but doesn't evil oh evil natural ocean and that only attack if it feels blood lust, the killing instinct. But still, girl can't take the chance. One of centipedes, centipede's arms co start coming in. Great centipede! Military march! And then, uh... Oh, evil natu natural ocean. Great! Great ocean cannon! And it just shoots a beam of water straight at Garo. Ugh. Ugh. You can see girl gets blasted up from the water beam hitting the the ground below him. So he's up in the air. Ugh. Ha 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 ha. You insignificant insect. Not so tough now, are ya? You're using you're using hostages against him. I'm not considering you anything of the sake right now, Sage Stampede. I really like this. This is really roomy. Also, I've never played Castlevania. This just came from a loot crate. A uh, gaming loot crate. Um, I usually don't get rid of hats. Usually. Unless they don't fit anymore. Like that. Uh, the. I can't think of his name now. Uh, that hat that I just had on earlier. That's from. Eight years ago? Nine years ago now? Really old. Back when FYE was in the town over. Huh. Suddenly, behind fucking Sage Santa Peep, we actually see something running or something going at the direction of Evil Natural Ocean. And now it is running across the water. Or something attack going across the water. <laughs> yes, I like I said. I, I was really hoping something else would fight Evil National Ocean, but it's fine. We haven't seen Saitama in action in for fucking ever. Saitama is running across the ocean at Evil National, Evil Natural uh, Nature, Natural Ocean.
Even evil ocean water. Sorry. And then Saitama's jumping across the waves up to fucking evil ocean water. And fucking boom. What type of punch? Serious punch. See where he punches. All this light is coming out of where he's punching. I might actually take off this hat because I'm I think it's just bothering me right now. <sighs> Fuck. This 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 beam, this beam his fists, his serious punch. You can see the wave of this just go for fucking incredible range. What the fuck? By it's Saitama. Holy shit. What? On earth? You see, with Saitama's one punch, he split the ocean in two. You can see the ground that the ocean sur the ocean floor because it's split entirely in two. Take your stupid water game somewhere else. I've had enough of them. Hmm? And we can see the um airship cruiser that was shown like a chapter or two ago. The anomalous pr protrusion of the water surface is crumbling down. Hold on to something. Sharp turn to port. Keep her atop the waves. The main screw and rudder are badly damaged. We can't stir steer the ship. God damn it. We have the whole crew just on the ship talking. Hey, there's someone still on deck. What? Impossible. If I had somewhere to stand on, I could just... I could just lift this thing up and carry it. Saitama roots him into the ground and balancing on the ship when it goes back and forth. Yo! Yo ho! Or, I can also use the ship as a surfboard. Ho! And that's what it seems like he's doing. He's using the fucking, the fucking, he's using the fucking, God! Oh! He's using the, 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 I forgot the word. I forgot the word. I, I, I started trying to think of the word, and then my mind just kept going. And I was doing a bit for a second there, and then it just lost. I lost it. He's using the fuck the do da the da the mm, mm, fuck. God damn it! Brain work. He's using. <laughs> This this happens when I when I put tags and titles and stuff for videos. A lot of it is copy and paste, but when I have to start doing it from scratch, there's a lot of go to Google, make sure this word is typed correctly. Oh, what is that word? Let me Google search a bunch of stuff. Even simple words, I kind of have to check because I really screw up a lot of words. Um, um. Airship carrier. He's using the airship carrier. I don't know why that took so long. He's using the airship carrier as a fucking surfboard to ride the ocean. You can see a, a, a eyeball get sent out of the top of the ocean when he's using the ship as the surfboard. She She's dead? I don't think she is dead. I think she might be. I wouldn't doubt it with Saitama, but I could see it still not being entirely dead. It's just knocked out for right now. She's dead. Just, I'm, I already forgot the name of his, his, the voice I was doing. She's dead. Just, what the hell is going on? A tectonic shift? Huh? And he realizes the helicopter and he fucking... Sage Centipede is going uh, bean lion for the fucking helicopter. The escape helicopter. Ah! Wait, you bastard! Girl is now jumping up towards 
uh, uh, Sage Centipede. But before he can attack Sage Centipede, fucking out of nowhere, fucking the home run, man. Fucking Melbat comes up, fire it up. <laughs> Dragon thrashing and fucking comes down with the bat on Sage Centipede's head. And nothing happens. He hits Say Senpi at least a couple times. It's it's too sturdy. Yo, and then he gets twirling and thrown off its head. And lands. Girls running by, and girls like Melbat. Huh. Hey, wait, you're. And the fucking Melbat now realizes this is Goro, the hero hunter. The hero hunter! Flashback to when they fought. What the hell are you doing here? You think you can get in my way again, huh? <laughs> Melbat. You can see a lot of more veins pop out of Melbat's face. Aura, I don't have time for this. What? Wait, you what? <laughs> Wait, you what? You what? You what? <laughs> uh fucking Christ. Uh They both jump on the back of Sage's Sage Centipede and are now running up Sage Centipede's back. Oh. I have a different hat. I usually don't change hats this often. I might have something for this. This is They are definitely wash. But they do not feel like they were washed. At least one of them doesn't. I'll wear this. Give me a second. I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. This is a little more tightly pressed. I'm back. <laughs> uh, this is dual rag. Uh, do rag. I got back. Uh, back when the, uh, our town had. Uh, probably two years ago. When our town had like a biker rally. This one I really like, enjoy. I just don't use it much anymore. But, let's continue. At least with these I can wear for a lot longer than actual like wool stuff. Okay, so back, back, they're running on Sage's centipede's back. Both Melbat and the Hero Hunter. Look like... You're fully monsterized, huh? Finally showing you your true colors. You won't get away this time. Ugh, so annoying. Looking for a fight at a time like this. They're both running and the helicopter's above them. Take a good look. Ladies and gentlemen, the ocean has split open. And unspeakable colossic, colossal monsters are coming out from below the earth. First, the those mysterious lights, and now this. Just on what, just one Earth is going on in here. Annoying fly, and LSMP goes to attack it with one of his whiskers, mustache whiskers, whatever you want to call them. Watch out, Mel Black, Mel Black, Mel Black, Metal Bat blocks it. From being hit. Ah! Girl instead jumps on top of the helicopter. Jumps on the window. And yells. Get lost! Gah! And fucking. It scares the shit out of the helicopter. <laughs> because it scares everybody in. So they start retreating. So this is not the rescue thing. It was just a helicopter nearby. Showing off everything. Melbat is actually confused. Confused and shocked. And then here comes Hero Hunter kicking. I'm guessing there's no way Girl is aiming for Ella Centipede. But Melbat will think, oh my god, he's going to attack me. Oh. Nope. And then here we go. Melbat. Uh, god damn it. Actually, I don't even know if I can wear this. 
Hero Hunter goes past Metal Bat and strikes Ellis, uh, Sage Centipede in the forehead. And is actually now bouncing off the forehead and hitting the Ellis Centipede multiple times. Just jumping off and attacking. And both of them are flying off. Flying back to the ground. They both land. They both get like set backwards. And Goro's ready and Melba is defending. That's the deal with you. What's the deal with you? Even though you're a monster, you're attacking that centipede. Not only that, but you also helped the helicopter evacuate just now. You're even more sensible now than you were than you were a human. Shut up. And don't get it twisted. The only reason I'm doing this is to show the world how much they should fear their great guru. No time to waste on IO talk. The damn centipede is targeting the rescue helicopter. What? The brats you rescued are aboard. We'll buy some time for the hel heli to escape safely. It's not like I expected anything from a hero like you, but you should at least make for some decent bait. Fucking <laughs> Melbat kicks Guru in the head. And just who the hell do you think you are bossing me around like that? I couldn't care less if you're a good guy now. There's no way I'm joining hands with the guy who beat the hell out of me. What's more, it's, it was your fault that I failed to kill the centipede back then. I'm doing this alone, so stand back, you idiot. Huh? And what? What's someone who got beaten to the ground by my human form going to do exactly? We don't have time for your selfish whims. Saving those kids should be our top priority. What kind of S-class hero are you? So both fell back and just grow chewing each other out. And here comes uh, Sage Stampede. What? What are you little insects yapping on about? <laughs> fucking, you interrupt the fucking, their battle. <laughs> Both of them yell, shut up! And uh, fucking Goro kicks uh, Sage Centipede and Melbat hits him. This reminds me very much of another, I don't know what anime, it might have been this too. It's, there's always moments like this where it's two people yelling at each other. And then when they go to an enemy tr goes into try to stop it, the enemy usually gets attacked by both fronts. I want to say One Piece, but I don't think it's One Piece. Why do you, why do those two always bicker in the middle of battle? It's two people always fighting. Oh. It's Gray and... I think it's Gray and Natsu. When those two are bickering during a... F no. It, I know what it is. It's Gray. It's Natsu and Gajil. When they're fighting um, Sting and Rogue. When they're fighting both of them. And they're t like yelling at each other. And then go straight for those two. <laughs> they don't do the same type of thing. But it reminds me like that. Also, probably Sanji and Zoro, too. <sighs> Take a good look at the the instant this evil monster attacked the news team. Luckily, they were able to escape unsca uh, unscathed. What's your take on this? Can the S-Class heroes on the site deal with this threat? What a terrifying creature. All we can, All we can do right now is pray that the heroes deal with this situation swiftly. Oh my! There's no way they managed to escape from a guy who can get onto a flying helicopter. So we're back over to the sister and brother. The guy who... The guy who was the final, uh, final person in the martial arts tournament that Saitama faced. Um, I don't know the names. Um, this is also why I need to start writing down the, uh, writing down on a page the characters' names. Because he's someone I just don't know the name of off the top of my head. 
But the heli didn't crash, right? Huh? I can't quite put my finger on why, but I feel like this guy didn't really want to kill those reporters. And you have the sister looking at the news report of the face Goro made. Are you sure of that? Let me make sure. I'm more than certain that's the end of the chapter. But I want to make sure off the second source. Oh, the first source. On the second source, reading through. Yeah, so that's the end of the chapter. Yeah, absolutely. Fucking incredible chapter. I absolutely can't wear anything right now. My hair is horrible. But it does add a few few hats that I have to wash. Which makes sense. They're going to be washed anyways. I'm going to take this down. Uh, holy shit was this a good, cap good chapter. If it wasn't for me forgetting words and forgetting how things are said... Sorry about that. One of the cats was fighting the other cat. I think what, what it is right now is it's my forehead. That's really sweaty. That's really throwing stuff off. But, um... Uh... Really, really, really great chapter. Um... Evil Natural Water is either knocked out or defeated... If it's fully defeated, fine. I don't care. It's awesome. But I could also see them just saying it's knocked out for right now. I could absolutely see that. See them saying it's not defeat. It's not. Uh, it's not defeated. It's just knocked out for the time being. I can't wait because this battle is coming down to an end here. We're getting very close to the end of this battle. I can't wait to see Saitama jump probably probably to the top of B class and then get to A class by the end of this. Also, I can't wait for them to do a third season. I really hope uh, the people who did Mob Psycho actually pick it up and pick it up for a third season. Also, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. This is a really good chapter. The back and forth between Melba and Goro is incredible, but it makes sense with them. So I'm talking about taking on evil natural water, evil evil ocean water, uh, and killing it, either killing it or knocking it out for the time being. Because he didn't actually destroy the eyeballs of it, and I think that's probably the source of evil natural water. The eyeballs have to be taken out, because I'm thinking that's the main thing behind evil natural water. Um, the eyeballs have to be destroyed. And since those still remain, I'm guessing um, Evil Natural Water isn't actually defeated yet. Um, but I could be wrong. Uh, but to have him then use the, the aircraft carrier as a surfboard to get them to safety is incredible. I am curious... If they're if they will be able to take out Sage Centipede, I don't think they will. I think Saitama or someone else will come in and help for it. Otherwise, if no one else makes an appearance, I think that might be it for the fights. Because there are probably one, maybe two other cadre that could appear, but I don't think they will. Um, so more than likely after if Evil Natural Water Evil Ocean Water is truly defeated then I'm more than likely that will be uh, Sage Centipede will be the last boss and then we could probably see rescue and um, rebuilding structures and all that hopefully also we get uh, a conclusion 
include conclusion of sorts to uh, Metal Knight being the traitor. Something conclusion of the sorts for that. Otherwise, uh, yeah, nine out of ten chapter, really great. I'm sorry this this is late. Um, more than likely, this will come out Monday night. Uh, that will be my goal. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, definitely 9 out of 10. I can't wait for the next chapter to come out. 10.58. That was what? 10.56 came out like a week ago. So maybe we'll get another week or maybe two weeks. Whoever, who knows? I don't care if we have to wait two weeks. I'm perfectly fine with waiting two weeks for a chapter or waiting a week. Whatever it takes. Um, because it definitely seems like every time they end a chapter, it's not truly ending. It's more of like... It's not like a, a cool clash or a cool review. Uh, v review, like... Reveal or anything like that. It's just always them ending on a stage where it's people talking or... It'll lead right into the next chapter very flawlessly, uh, which just means they're probably he's probably working on it right now as we speak. Um, but I can't wait to see what comes of it. Otherwise, this has been Miss Crazy again. Sign off. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Have you just have a good day. Hopefully, I see you guys next video. Oh, also, real quick, when we hit 2,500 subscribers, we'll be doing two gift card giveaways. Two twenty twenty, probably twenty five dollar gift card giveaways. Uh, otherwise, um, I'm really sorry that this is late and this should have came out at least Sunday. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I have two more things to record real quick and then I'm taking a shower and then I need to record some episodes and stuff, manga reviews and sh stuff. I'll hopefully get a gameplay part out tonight. Hopefully. Who knows? I don't even know. <laughs> otherwise, really hope you guys did enjoy. Hope uh, if you guys have anything to talk about this chapter or any ideas or anything, if evil Nash, Nash, evil ocean water or anything, if it's not defeated or if it's taken out, comment down below. Um, I'll have a conversation with you there. Otherwise, um, really, thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Peace.